What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about Kofi Coburn and why he has such great potential in the NBA one day. But before I get into it, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. Right now, Kofi's averaging about 21 points and 11 rebounds per game, and he's a finalist for National Player of the Year. At 7 feet tall, 285 pounds, he has great size for a future in the NBA. On the offensive side of the court, he plays more of an old school bully ball type of game. Almost all his points are coming from the paint, and very few are coming beyond 10 feet. He's really good at scoring off of pick and rolls. A lot of the time, his teammates will just throw up the ball to him, and he's able to jump up and get it. Then he's really good at scoring above opposing players by turning his back and using his body. He also does a great job at sealing off defenders to create space for an entry level pass in the paint, and then jump over defenders to finish. On the defensive side of the court, Kofi is very physical in the paint and he's able to use his size to affect other players shots. Even though he's only averaging one block per game this year, he's really good at using his size to affect player shots. Right now his draft stock isn't very high. He's projected as maybe a late second round pick or undrafted, but I really think he's the type of player that could surprise a lot of people in the NBA one day. In my opinion, he has two main weaknesses that are holding him back from being a lottery pick. First off, his lack of a jump shot is definitely concerning. Nowadays in the NBA, everyone's expected to have a jump shot and be able to knock down an occasional three at least. So far this season, Kofi has yet to make a three or even attempt one. In fact, in his whole career at Illinois, he's yet to make a three. Like I said before, nowadays everyone in the NBA is expected to be able to shoot and if he's not able to shoot in college, there's no reason to believe he will in the NBA. The second concern I have with his game is his speed. He's not necessarily slow, but he's not fast by any means either. This weakness is definitely highlighted when he switched onto smaller guards and he has to defend them out on the wing. A lot of the time guards are able to take advantage of this and drive on him or step back for an uncontested three. Playing the center spot in the NBA, you definitely have to be able to stick with smaller guards that are fast. So this is definitely a concern with his game as well. With all that being said, both of these weaknesses are easily fixable. And as long as he gets a better jump shot and is able to get a little bit faster, he definitely can be a good center in the NBA. He really has all the potential to become an all-star one day. If I had to compare him to anybody in the NBA, I definitely would say his game style reminds me of Shaq. I'm not saying he's as good as Shaq in any way, but he's definitely very dominant and plays pretty much exactly like him. Going into Shaq's rookie year, he was only 1 inch taller than Kofi and 10 pounds heavier. Along with having almost identical size, they're both very dominant and strong in the paint. You may be thinking it's crazy that someone as dominant as Kofi is being considered as a second round pick, but that really just shows how much the NBA has changed over the years. 20 years ago, he most likely would have been a lock number one pick and predicted to be the next great big. Even though the NBA has changed, I could still see him having a major role on a team. I could really see Kofi having a really good career on the Charlotte Hornets one day. The Hornets are in need of a center next year and I could definitely see him being a good fit on their team. He would fit well coming off of pick and rolls with LaMelo Ball, where he'd be able to catch crazy lobs and dimes from LaMelo. I could see him being used kind of like Clint Capella was with James Harden in Houston, where he'd be able to thrive from lobs to the basket. I really think it would be smart for any team to take a chance on him and just give him a chance in the NBA. He's shown how dominant he can be in college. There's no reason why he can't in the NBA too. As long as he's able to fix those weaknesses, I'd look for him to be very good. With everything being said, there's no way to tell right now, and it'll just be interesting to see what he can become in the future. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, and please make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to leave a like and comment what you think about Kofi's game and if you think he'll be good in the NBA one day. And if you want to give me some suggestions on videos to do in the future, just make sure to leave a comment. See y'all next time.